Morning viewers, Rob Atfield reporting for Port Carling Boats. It's Saturday, July the 6th, 2013. We're in Gravenhurst in the Skoka Wharf. And this is the big Antique and Classic Boat Society, biggest race boat show in Canadian history event. We've set up our booth here. It's just after nine in the morning. And the crowds are already starting to flock in. It's going to be a really warm, probably humid, but great day for displaying boats and having in water demonstrations. I'm sh showing this section of the video just to let our clients know that we are doing our best to help them their, help them find the new uh, new homes for their wooden boats and we've had a significant number of questions already and we've got people taking our brochures and our business cards and information of our boat listings so if you're thinking of selling a wooden boat frankly I can't think of a better place to sell it than Port Carling Boats. We're going to tour around the show and uh, we'll come back shortly. We're looking at the main docks here viewers and the ubiquitous Seguin, Muskoka's premier classic antique historic <laughs> steamboat and her sister ship the more recently built the Nona 2. The classic race, race boats here represent a wide variety of styles, eras and dimensions. Let's go on the decks and take a closer look. As I say, we've got great weather here this morning and there are going to be some live uh, demonstrations of race boats. And of course we have a Dixieland band playing in the background. I'm sure you can't hear that yet. Here we have Miss Canada 4 being towed to a dock viewers. My understanding is that they're still ironing out some engine technicalities. And uh, so she may not be in operation today on the water, but she's certainly going to be available for viewing by the public. Working with a, an antique classic engine of this magnitude, a 3,000 horsepower Rolls-Royce engine, is not an easy task. The engine's been completely rebuilt, but refinements are continuing. Here we have a 1933 Manette Shields, gentleman's racer, beautiful boat, powered by a Chev engine, 8 cylinder, 300 horsepower, and once again a showroom condition boat. Looks like a little rumble seat in the front. Beautiful job, varnish job on this boat. Pretty unique vessel. Here we have Kobe, a 1993 19 and a half foot clarion boat built, I expect, in Campbellford, Ontario, powered by a Chrysler 8 cylinder 250 horsepower engine. Once again, the mother in law seat in the front. These, must, these boats must be so much fun to drive. Here we have a beefy, somewhat modified gentleman's racer with a rear cockpit as well. 1995 build by Mike Stratford, 22 footer, powered by a GMC 8 cylinder 200 horsepower engine. Lighter wood color. A beautiful bow deck. Here we have uh, a Mike Winter boat. Mike's a rather famous Gravenhurst restorer. He built this one in 1991, 20-footer, powered by an eight-cylinder Merck 300 horsepower engine. Beautiful hatch on this boat. And that racket you hear in the distance, viewers, is race boat in action. Number of them doing the circuit this morning. This one hasn't been identified yet over the PA. Let's go and see if we can get a closer look.
of yours. We've got a waving, a teetering dog here. Not a bad way to get to work if you're in a hurry. Here we have Miss Canada viewers. With her humongous 3,000 horsepower Rolls Royce engine. Let's hope she's back in action soon. View of Haldina 2, Cup winner, days gone by. Here we have Miss Canada 3, winner of the President's Cup in Washington in 1939, the first non American to win the coveted trophy, world champion, seven liter class. Also, winner of the Detroit Silver Cup in 1948. Official Gold Cup world speed record of 119 miles an hour in 1948. Miss Canada 3. My understanding is that the Cup normally didn't leave the United States, but uh, at the express request of the President, uh, that exception was waived. Great boat. We're looking at Flying Ebony here, owned by Gus Harris, a 1940 Morris Boat Works racer. 29 feet in length, and a, with a, powered by a BPM engine, 750 horsepower, 12 cylinders. Once again, a rather efficient way to get to work, <laughs> particularly if you're on the water, of course. Not so much on a freeway. That is quite the engine. <laughs> 